Hey everybody, my name is Neil Malik from Knack Training and today's everyday office video, I'm going to show you three ways that Power Query crushes text to columns. Let me show you the three problems that I wanna to fix today. Item number one, in the selling agent column, I have decided I need to break this up so that everybody's last names and first names are separated from one another. Now, as you can see in here, there should be a comma between the last name and the first name, but there's also a space between the last name and the first name. And unfortunately, there are people in here like Ting Ting and a few other folks who have multiple word first names or last names. And because of that, a standard text to columns won't be able to break this cleanly. Then let's look over here at the sale ID column. Now, most of the time you could say something like, well, if you want to get the number and the text separated from one another, you can just break it where the dash is. But as you can see in here, the sale ID, for whatever reason, sometimes has two dashes and sometimes has one dash. So that's really rather frustrating. And thirdly, let's look at the items sold in each one of these sales. Notice how some of them have multiple different items that have been sold in the same sales transaction. Now, if I want to break this up, I actually don't want to go text to columns. I want to go text into multiple rows. And each one of these is something a text to columns just can't do. So let's see how Power Query improves on this. The first thing I want you to notice is that this set of data has been turned into a table. You can see that through the table design tab up here at the top of the screen, and it's called TBL Sales Data 2018. Now, if I go to my data tab at the top of the screen, go to from table or range in the get or transform data area, this will take me directly into Power Query in Office 365. If you have Office 2010 or 2013, you'll need to go through your Power Query tab that you can get by um, installing the add-in. And if you have an older version, you can also use the Power Query Editor tool in order to get there. But I'm going to go directly to From Table or Range here, click on it, and it's going to take this table and allow me to see the same thing inside of Power Query. And here it is. So you can see it's taken the labels from the tops of the columns all very nicely and easily. And here, let's start with the easiest of our text breakup options. Under sale, selling agent, I want to break up last names from first names. And I know that the thing that's breaking the last name from the first name is a comma and a space right next to each other. So I click onto this column right here. I go to split column by delimiter. And this is a very minor improvement on how um, text to columns works inside of Excel. On the drop down menu here for what the delimiter is, you can see the comma is an option. You can see that space is an option, but under custom right here, I can also put in just a comma followed by a space. And it seems so simple, but unfortunately you can't do this natively in Excel. You have to either break it up by just the comma and then trim off the space, or you break it up by the comma and the space, and all the places that there are spaces in your text then also get broken up. So you can see right there, I click OK, and simply here I get their last names, and their first names. Regardless of whether some of my um, employees are named one name, two name, three name, four name, first or last names. Fairly straightforward there. Now let's move over to something a little bit more complicated. With the sale ID, unfortunately, we have this problem where, okay, well, the dash isn't actually a 100% indicator of whether it needs to break up or not. You see the EF dash TT dash and then the number. But beautifully, here in Power Query under the split column drop down menu, you'll notice that we have an option here that says go from non digits to digits. And right there, of course, EF dash TT. Those are all non-digits, and the number two is a digit. So I click on non-digit to digit, and just like that, all of the text gets separated from all of the numbers. 
And you can go here to number of characters and just split one character as far right as possible. See that right there? So the number of characters used to split the text column, the last one character on the far right, click OK, and there you have it. There's my extra dash. I can just right click and remove this. And now I have the first part of the sales ID separated from the second part of the sales ID with a bare minimum of effort. And now, for the real game changer, items sold. Now, unfortunately here in Excel, I would normally have to do some really complicated iterative process to be able to say, okay, well in the sale, the first thing we sold was vinyl, and then the second thing we sold was Accruex in following rows one after another. But watch how easy this is to do. You can see in here that it's a comma and a space separating the different products. So again, we go to transform tab, again we go to split column, by delimiter and we put in the same delimiter we did earlier this custom option a little comma space right there and then what we do is right here under advanced options we split it into rows that's it just choose advanced options split it into new rows and hit OK and now if you notice right up here at the top right this is sale uh, 159015 159015 uh, from the Agri Agricultural Bank of Tokelau. Um, Grace Ward did the sale, but the first product they sold was vinyl, and the second product they sold was a Cruex. And so that right there, those three components that we wanted to be able to segment up, are so much easier inside a Power Query than any other way we could have done it. We finish up by going to the Home tab at the top of the screen, click and close and load, and we take all of that data cleaned up the way we wanted it to be, and we dump it straight onto the spreadsheet, and now we move forward with our lives.